Hi guys, so I've done a lot of intern, pharmacy practice intern oral exams this year and I've noticed about 90% of all interns are saying this phrase. So I think it must be an ITP or a big pharmacy banner that's telling them to say this. Um, and the phrase goes something like this, during the patient questioning where they're trying to gather that medical history about the patient, somewhere along it they'll say, if I have any questions or concerns, can I call you a doctor? And I don't really like this phrase. I had an intern ask me during the masterclass that I ran on the oral exam. They said, is it okay if I use this phrase, Bon? And I said, I understand why you're using this phrase. Like it's designed to get consent, but it does have some drawbacks. And after thinking about it for a bit longer, I've realized that it actually has more drawbacks than benefits. So the only benefit of this phrase is just to get consent. Like that's the pure purpose of it. Uh, it doesn't, uh, give you any other additional benefits, but it does have some drawbacks that is making it harder for some interns to pass their exams. Let's go through the drawbacks with an example I just came up with. So this is not a real exam, but imagine if you did have an exam, and it could be a OSCE-like scenario, you're still in university, and it's a patient comes in with a new script for carvidolol. So you go through your question and you ask him, is it okay if I call your doctor if there's any issues? And he says yes. During the questioning, you realize that this patient is also taking digoxin, and then you try to hunt for the problem. So you might know or you might not know that carbidolol interacts with digoxin. Um, you can find that in your AMH or the MIMS if you didn't know that. And then you're like, okay, that's the problem there. I'm gonna call the doctor. So you go and call the doctor, and then the doctor calls up, picks up the phone, and then you say, hi, Dr. Jones, I've got Mr. Aqua here with his new script for carbidolol. I'm not sure if you're aware, but it actually interacts with digoxin. And you're thinking, or at least hoping, that the doctor's gonna be like, oh no, I wasn't aware of that, um, thanks for letting you know. But what sometimes happens also is that the doctor would go, thanks for the call, but that's okay. Actually aware of this interaction, we're gonna monitor its digoxin levels and adjust it accordingly. Now, you're a bit shocked. You thought that was the problem. And the reason why you thought it was the problem was obviously because it does interact, but because you didn't rule it out as being the real problem with the patient. So what do I mean by that? Let's say this was a real life example. So a patient came into your pharmacy, they're on regular digoxin, and then they've got this script for carvidolol. In real life, you would not go and call the doctor straight away just because you see that interaction. You would go up to the patient and go, oh, hey, Mr. Aqua, I actually did notice that your new medicine the doctor prescribed interacts with digoxin. Did the doctor tell you about this? Did he tell you we need to monitor the digoxin levels um, and potentially change it? And then the patient would go either, oh, yes, he did mention that to me. He's going to monitor the digoxin levels. Or he would say, oh, no, he didn't actually mention that to me. And you're like, okay, that could be a potential problem. I'll call the doctor. And then you ask the patient, okay, is it okay if I call your doctor about this? I'm just a bit concerned that it could cause an issue. The patient will say yes. So you can do that exact same scenario during the oral exam. You can rule out problems with them. You can go up and ask the patient if they're monitoring it or if the doctor is aware of the potential interaction that can occur and if they're going to adjust the dosage. And the patient will either say yes or no. That allows you to confirm whether what you think is the problem is the real problem in, the, in an exam-like scenario. And it's just more natural to what you do in real life. So try doing this during your pharmacy intern oral exams or during any of your OSCEs. Try going up to the actual patient first and then asking them about the problem that you found and if the doctor told them anything about it. And you might find that this makes it quite a bit easier in solving your exams. If you need any additional help, uh, be sure to check out memorizemedicine.com. That is a free resource. All right, bye guys.